Join me today where we're going to uncover the most underrated places to live in Orange County. We're going to go over price points, uh, proximity to the beach, and why I think all these areas are a great alternative to actually buying down on the coast. And stick around to the end because the last place is probably one of my favorites, and there's a lot of reasons for it, and we'll get to that in just a minute. So number one, we're going to talk about Laguna Niguel. Now, Laguna Niguel is southeast of Laguna Beach and northwest of San Juan Capistrano. Average price point is going to be about $1.6 million. There are homes starting at $1.1 all the way up to $16 million. These homes are overlooking the ocean, but you're like actually up on the hill. And the, the proximity to uh, Laguna Beach is really close, so you can actually, you know, just take a short drive down into Laguna Beach. It's a really nice place, a great community. The issue that I would have is there's a lot of traffic down there. A lot of people uh, go down to that beach. So Laguna Niguel is a, actually a great alternative because you're actually living up on the hills. You're going to get more home for the price. If you're looking down in Laguna Beach, Laguna Beach is going to be a lot more expensive for the same type of home. Now, the weather and the environment in all of these cities is gonna be about the same. It's more of a Mediterranean environment. You know, in Southern California, if you're close to the ocean, it's gonna be a lot cooler. Once you go inland, depending on how far in you go, you're gonna look at about 10 to 20 degrees different. I know there's a lot of things on the news, uh, you know, over like close to Laguna Niguel, up in the hills, you'll see uh, the wildfires that are happening up there. A lot of that is, you know, in wildlife areas and that it doesn't really come into the city. So, you know, other than the smoke is kind of covering the skies, it doesn't really affect us that much down here for the most part. But, you know, if you're looking for a great alternative to actually living in Laguna Beach and spending that extra money, Laguna Niguel is a great place. I mean, there's parks, community events, you know, farmers markets, all the things you would expect in, you know, a Southern California city. Laguna Niguel is also really close to freeways, close to Irvine, where there's a lot of, you know, technology companies have moved into Irvine lately. You're really close to John Wayne Airport, even Long Beach Airport's not that far away. They have just expanded the freeways going into like South Orange County. It's very easy to access a lot of you know, things like if you're working in downtown LA and you want more of a, you know, laid back community, you're going to want to look down into like Orange County. Some of the differences between Orange County and LA County, as far as the sales tax rate is going to be a lot lower. Crime rate's going to be a little bit higher. Orange County also prosecutes like petty crimes or, you know, whereas LA County, not yet. I think they're coming around. So you're definitely going to want to look if you're in, if you work in LA and you want more of a laid back lifestyle, look down in Orange County and Laguna Niguel is a great place to start. So next on our list is going to be Fountain Valley. Now Fountain Valley is kind of northeast of Huntington Beach. It's kind of tucked away little community. Very clean, very safe. You know, you can get in there for about $850,000 all the way up to $3.5 million. But for $3.5 million, you're going to get a lot of home for that. The average price point in Fountain Valley is going to be about $1,275,000. But, you know, again, things are growing in this area. It's uh, Fountain Valley is really close to the actual beach or Huntington Beach. And again, it, if you're moving into Huntington Beach, Huntington Beach is going to be pricier. Fountain Valley is also known for great, uh, great schools, beautiful parks, very close to the coast. And there's a great quality of life there. The crime rates are low. And, you know, a lot of these... Like at eight hundred and fifty thousand, you're probably looking at a condo at that price range. You know, if you're just looking to move out into the area, Fountain Valley is a great uh, little town to move to. Next up, we have Elisa Viejo. It is northeast of Laguna Beach. Average price point in Elisa Viejo is going to be about one point four million. Uh, you can find homes starting at about one point one million up to two point one million. There's a lot of parks, uh, recreation, outdoor activities. It's very close to the beach as well. It's also like a more of a close-knit community. There's a lot of dining and entertainment options close to Irvine uh, for, you know, the technology centers down there and, um, you know, a lot of job opportunities as well. Elisa VA is also known for its low crime rates, so that make you feel good. You're a little safer there as well. I mean, pretty much all of Orange County is like that. Orange County, towards the coast, the coastal cities, there are 
all pretty safe. You, you know, when you're walking around outside, you don't feel threatened at all. It's, it's a you know, very safe, safe area to live. There's also a lot of places to hike up in at Lisa Viejo, and it's really perfect for like outdoor enthusiasts, and it's close to Laguna Beach. So if that's something you're looking for, at least a BAO might be an option for you. Next up, we have Costa Mesa. Costa Mesa is really close to Newport Beach as well. It is the home of South Coast Plaza, which is a, a huge shopping center. It's a high-end shopping center. I was actually down there yesterday and um, they're moving. There's like a couple of different shopping centers that make up South Coast Plaza. And uh, one of the shopping centers that I was, the one that I was in, the part that I was in, they told me that they were moving some of the uh, shops out of the main shopping center over to that because they want all high-end um, shopping centers in the main shopping part. So, I mean, you can find like a lot of, it's, it's, it's cool to go in there and see a lot of the stuff's, you know, kind of pricey. It's a high-end shopping center, but a lot of people come down there to just to go to that place. Homes in Costa Mesa are going to run about $890,000 all the way up to like six and a half million dollars. The average price point in Costa Mesa is, right now is about $1.4 million. If you're looking for a really safe community, Costa Mesa is definitely an option for you. Close to shopping, close to the freeways, you know, the 405, they just expanded it going through there. So getting in and out is not a problem if you're working up in Los Angeles. So really close, really great community, lots of parks. And you know, the main thing I like to go down there for is, you know, shopping. The shopping centers are pretty awesome. You, you have to see it. Next up is Sunset Beach. Now Sunset Beach sits kind of between Huntington Beach and Seal Beach. It's like a little strip uh, along the ocean. And the average home price in there, they're saying, is about 2.75. But you know, if you're buying a home actually on the water, you're looking at probably about six to eight million dollars easy. There's not a lot for sale right now in Sunset Beach. So if that's something you're interested in, I would like jump on it when you see it. Just you know, if, if, if you can afford it and you want to live there, like as soon as it hits the market, you got to kind of be on it because, you know, like I said, I ran a search just now in the past year. There's probably two homes that have sold in their single family homes is what I ran for. So, you know, Sunset Beach is a great location. There's a lot of windsurfing going on off the off the coast. It's right north of Boca Chica State Park. It's west of uh, Huntington Harbor. Uh, it's a, like a little strip along the water. But there's, you know, a lot of people go down there just to go to the beach. There's beach parking right up front. It's a cool little community. And, and there are there is some shopping close by, you know, where you can actually walk across uh, Pacific Coast Highway, you know, little shopping centers there, little market there, restaurants. So it's, you know, it's, it's kind of a cool, you know, beachy vibe town. And the reason it's on this list is because, you know, a lot of people when they move out to this area, they want to go to like Huntington Beach, the Laguna Beach, Newport Beach. And they're really nice areas as well. But if you want to live on the water, those places are going to cost you, you know, I mean, I've seen homes like down in Huntington Beach, Balboa Island for like $30 million. So Sunset Beach is a great alternative to actually living on the beach. Just a great area to live. And last on my list, and this is probably one of my favorite cities in Orange County, and it's very underrated. I ask people about it all the time if they know where it is, but it's Seal Beach. Now, Seal Beach is a small town in between Huntington Beach and Long Beach. It's actually the last city as you go north uh, along the coast in Orange County. There's a huge retirement community here. Uh, in that retirement community, there's about half the residents of Seal Beach. Seal Beach is a total population of about 20,000 people. Half of them live in a community called Leisure World. And Leisure World is an all-cash community. You can get in there for, you know, $250,000 for a one-bedroom unit. And I've seen them all the way up to about $700,000. But outside of Leisure World, you know, you have like different suburbs in Seal Beach. They all have their pluses and minuses. Old Town Seal Beach is, you know, down in Old Town. Uh, you're looking at an average price point of probably about 2.2 to $2.3 million, but you're really close to the water. It's probably one of the most walkable communities around. Uh, we have a, you know, a main street where you can, you know, just pretty much from anywhere in Old Town. It's quiet at night you know it's almost like they roll up the sidewalks about nine o'clock at night there's nothing going on in old town seal beach so it's a very quiet safe community yeah i've, I've driven from um, huntington beach into 
Seal Beach at night, you know, about nine o'clock at night. And Huntington Beach was like humming with a lot of things going on. And you get up to Seal Beach and it's like going into a different time zone almost. But, you know, the restaurants are still open. It's just a lot more quiet of a vibe in Seal Beach than it is in like down in Huntington Beach. Homes along the water in Seal Beach are going to run you about eight to nine million dollars right on the water. Um, there are condos on the water that are, are across from the water. I've seen some recently going for about 1.5 million right by the pier. It's a great community, a very safe place to live. It's very walkable. Even if you're living in Leisure World, which is probably about five minutes east of Old Town, Seal Beach, they have shuttle buses that take you down to the beach and you can walk around and you know get back on the shuttle bus and go go back to your home it's probably one of my favorite places because you know i feel really safe here it's very quiet not a lot of activities although during the summer they do have concerts in the park every week they have movies in the park you know starting in mid-september again seal beach is is you know there's there are quite a few listings in seal beach that are active right now but they they tend to move fairly quick depending on the price depending on the location and the condition of the home. You can get homes on the north end uh, right across from Long Beach for about that are actually close to the water, like on the water where there's nothing obstructing your view from your home to the water. On the San Gabriel River, you're looking at about four and a half to five million dollars, which is, you know, really good value when you compare that to like Manhattan Beach or some of these other like beach cities, like to live on the water, you're gonna pay a lot more money. Seal Beach is also, you know, Orange County. So it's, you know, it's a different vibe. I've driven from Long Beach into Seal Beach and I've, I've had people tell me this a lot of times that they can feel a definite vibe shift when you come from Long Beach into Seal Beach. And, you know, as an example, if you if you buy a house in Long Beach, like in Naples on the water, you're looking at, you know, $10 million. And, it, and they're really kind of close together there. Whereas in, in Seal Beach, you know, you're right on the water, right on the beach. You know, you can pick up homes for, you know, eight, nine million dollars. But if you come in a little, you know, off the water where, you know, you can walk to the beach in maybe a minute and a half to two minutes walking, you can find homes for 1.6, 1.8, 2 million, depending on, you know, the, the size of the house and the location. But it's a really great community to live in. And that's why Seal Beach is one of my favorite places to live in Orange County. Now, if you're looking to move to Orange County or like South Los Angeles County or anywhere in the area, just go ahead and call the number that's on the screen right now and i understand that a lot of you you know are not ready to move but if you watch this video over here you'll get to learn more about living in orange county and if you need anything just go ahead and reach out to me i'm here for you